Well, what's interesting is that uh, this year, 2010, has been a, really an extraordinary time of revolution, really. And for American corporate directors, uh, all three branches of government brought them surprises in this year, and the voters gave them yet a further surprise. And so directors today have a, a lot to catch up on in order to be ready to go next year. It's very hard to tell. Um, I, my own sense is that the um, uh, business community has enjoyed uh, dominance of both political parties. And this certainly was clear in the discussions of Dodd-Frank, and the, particularly in the conference committees. Uh, and so it's not clear that there's going to be any vast change. But any change that there will be probably will be exerted by the Republicans in the House by using their appropriations leverage on uh, places like the SEC uh, to try and uh, restrict uh, or restrain or retard uh, regulations and uh, other aspects of Dodd-Frank that they don't like. Well, I think the, uh, the, the really critical issue uh, that came out of the Supreme Court this year is the Citizens United decision. So we now have something where the justices have permitted a wide level of corporate involvement on the assumption that it would be transparent. And then when it came time for the Congress to pass the law, it failed to pass. So, that, so there's a whole sense here of uh, unfinished business and a whole sense of public disquiet. That's why the directors of corporations are going to have a very severe responsibility because uh, are they going to take it on themselves to say that our corporation is going to disclose all of the contributions it makes and are we going to require people like the U.S. Chamber of Commerce to disclose who it gives our money to? Uh, it's something they're not legally required to do because the law didn't pass. So what are they going to do? That's what directors have to decide and I think this is an important issue because it's a place where Corporate functioning bumps into the idea of the public interest. And the principal responsibility of directors is to enhance and preserve the reputation of corporations. And so in dealing with this issue, uh, it isn't just a matter of saying, we don't legally have to do this. It's a matter of the, are we going to do something we don't legally have to do in order to present a popularly attractive position?